Let's talk about breasts. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and all the bad things. Okay, welcome back to another episode of BoobTube. I'm your best friend, Jaleesa. I'm Chantel. And we are here to talk about these holidays that we're in. So we are back in the holiday season officially, and it's a time where, you know, we eat, drink, and be merry. But, you know, sometimes all of that stuffing of your face leads to you looking and feeling stuff. So before we get into it, of course, we got to take boob tube on the move. How soon after you get home do you take your bra off? Okay, so depending on the sun, if it's really hot out, I'm coming home immediately and taking it off, period. And if I'm wearing like a sports bra, I'll probably take it off maybe like 30 to 45 minutes after I get home. Well, because I can do some stuff in the house, like wash dishes and stuff while I have my sports bra on. Okay. Now, how soon after you get home do you take off your bra? Immediately. <laughs> ASAP. With the quickness. And does your bra get tighter when you stuff your face? Like when you eat a lot, do you feel like it gets tighter? Or is it still pretty decent? Yeah, it's still pretty good. Okay, that's good. That's good. Shout out to that uplifted bra. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once a woman takes off her bra when she's at home, name something that she is not going to do. Once the bra comes off. Hmm. I don't know. See something that she's not going to do? Yes. Like once the bra comes off, she is not going to do whatever. <laughs> you can't think of one thing? No, no I really can't. Okay. Um, it, so you don't have any, do you have any observations about women once they take their bras off? Uh, they, they always seem as though they're, it's relaxing to take them off. They, they get really, at ease. It's, it's a thing. It feels great. Okay. Then why do they put them on? We need the support during the day, but by night, or just, you know, just sometimes you need to just. To hell with it. Yeah, not be supported. What is a woman not doing once she takes her bra off? She is not telling you about her life story when she takes off. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Me, meaning, okay, let me try to rephrase. Once a woman has taken her bra off, name something that she is not going to do after that. She's probably not going to go for a jog. Okay. <laughs> what are your observations when it comes to women taking off their bras once they get home? Once they get home, just freedom. Okay, okay. I feel like she feels free. Comfortable. Okay, so. Thoughts about the Boots are going to move. Yeah, it seemed like there was a consensus that the women want to get relief and the mm -hmm. men observe that relief. That That's a good way to sum it up. <laughs> but they didn't know. So usually, especially on social media, so they'll talk about, oh, once a woman takes off her bra, she is not leaving the house. Don't call, ask her to go somewhere. She already took her bra off. Yeah. But they were kind of missing the mark on that, especially the the, the one talking about you gonna tell her life story. Yeah, I was like, how did we get there? Well, oh yeah, I don't know where that came in. I don't know. The jogging, it made sense. It wasn't the answer I was thinking of, no. but it made sense. Like maybe you would not go jogging after you took your bra off. But that's just your regular bra anyway, depending on your size. You ain't gonna run in that anyway. Right. I was like, if maybe you were changing into your sports bra. That that's something that happens. I've done that. So yeah, missing the mark just a tad, but nonetheless. You know, the answers were pretty Yeah. what we were like, expecting. As soon as they get in, them women taking off their bras. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It's that, that relaxing feeling. We talked about it in our episode about how to take on, how to take, how to put on a bra yeah. and take off a bra. <laughs> and I kept saying take on. Okay. So, yeah, it's a relief for us. And. As, as important as bras are and that support is, we still like to just <sighs> be free. You I know? want to be free. Yeah, because I go from 100 to zero real quick. When I, when I get home, mm -hmm. I look like I've been nowhere <laughs> really quickly. It, it's downhill. Yeah. Everything comes off so fast. Yeah. 
bra included. Most times. Sometimes I'll keep it on for whatever reason. I don't know. Mm -mm. And I really have to think about it too. Like, am I going to put this bra back on? I got to think about what the rest of the evening going to look like. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, we can take it off. Yeah. If I'm going to just be home for the rest of the day, it's, it's a no. Yeah. Or even, even if I'm going to the gym later, I'll eventually switch to put on a sports bra. Mm -hmm. I still don't need on a bra in between time. Yeah, no. For the most part. Um, but there are some times I would keep it on for whatever reason. Those are, that just depends on what's going on. But usually, 100 to zero all the way. I get, Yeah, I feel you. No stop. I None stop. You. I definitely feel you. Um, do your bra tend to feel tight? When you eat a lot? Yes. Okay. If I, well, yeah. I felt the tightness if I felt kind of stuffed or just as the day goes on and maybe I'm just kind of pushing out my stomach, then it'll start to feel a little tight. Especially the waist beads. I have waist beads, so okay, those can, you'll feel it. And sometimes they'll roll up to right up under the bra and you mm -hmm. feel it. It's like, ugh. It's your indicator. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel the band getting tighter when I eat a lot or when it's that time of the month. That makes sense because, yeah, bloated, I'm mm -mm. I'm a good That's distance. That's when you definitely, I ain't wasting no time. Get out this thing. I'm an instant six months pregnant <laughs> during a period. Minus so. four. <laughs> yeah, I'm at six. I'm, I'm in my last trimester <laughs> when the period comes. I saw even a recent episode we did, and I was on my period, but I was like, I look like a whole. And I just don't care. Oh no, I don't. I was just like, y'all, y'all just gonna take me as I am. Yeah, don't care about the nipples showing. I'm bloated. That's just life. That's what's yeah. Going on. It was too much. If you see me regularly, you'd be like, well, she doesn't look like she did that day. I don't, because <laughs> I can look like I didn't look the same way I did that morning, and by that evening, I'm expecting so yeah it's life the life of a woman yes what we go through yes we don't get on that too much <laughs> um so do you use your bras as a tool of measurement when you're eating no to see like am no. i eating a lot mm -mm. because that bra feels a little tight no it just i just and it, and it really does depend on what bra i'm wearing like the one i'm wearing now is like one of them tight ones so it would just begin. I'd be feeling it, but is it gonna stop me from eating? Absolutely not. No, it'll probably just make you take your bra off quicker. Yes, just either eat more or take the bra off. Those are the options. Eat more, win. <laughs> I'm gonna always eat. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I maybe have, but I really don't like the feeling of being full. Yeah, I just like to be content. That full feeling is too like oh. I don't like it, and it makes you sleepy. But and sometimes stuff. the food be so good, like I don't like the feeling, but I'm getting ready to going. suffer the consequences. Yeah, sometimes we do that, especially with seafood. When they have those, they have, I've seen social media posts where it's like that one thing that you know messes up your stomach, but you go for it again, thinking maybe this time it won't, but of course it's going to. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I like, think about food now. I think my stomach, I think I feel the bra getting tight just thinking about the food. Maybe it has a brain of its own. It does. Or maybe your breasts are just growing as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I don't know. Say, say hello. <laughs> don't grow. <laughs> so, what are things that you do when it does feel tight? Just. In public, what would you do in public if it felt like? I've got to suffer the consequences. For sure. I've never gone in the bathroom to adjust the settings of the bra, and I'm not going to do it because that's just way too much trouble. Might as well take it off at that point. Yeah, don't even tease yourself yeah, with the no. with the unsnapping. And, no. But it's, yeah. but if I'm in public, like I'm pretty much going to go end up going home if I'm eat, like, eating. Mm -hmm. You out. hate it home. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to go home anyway. Yeah, I might have to do a little tug or something like yeah doing a little mm. adjustment going about your business yeah just suffer it's all right it. yeah it's we, not that bad yeah in private take the bra it's going off it might not even come on Depending right on the day especially like holiday season come on now if uh, i ain't going nowhere 
no bra was getting put on. Yeah, no. The things go, the, the things go thing that day, <laughs> like for sure. Just walking around. I'm I'm aired out. Yeah, that's chill mode. Very chill. Keep it at that. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At most, I could put on like a lounge bra, but yeah, I'm bound to just be nipped out. There we go. <laughs> go on a shirt too. Right, <laughs> nipped out. That's gonna be for your lounging wear. Yes, I'm nipped out. <laughs> I'll make that. <laughs> um, how long do you typically wear your bras? Like maybe in, in a, a day. day. Um, I would say. Once I get up and go wherever I'll have on a bra and it just depends on how long the day is. If it's a long day, I guess I, I have it on all day or if it's, it's usually, I guess usually if I'm up and doing something during regular business hours, I'll have it on during business hours. Uh, off the clock hours, it's off. I'll have on a sports bra if I'm going to work out. I might put on a, a a sleep lounge bra at night, so depending on bras for different yeah parts of your day. Yeah, but a lot of times I'm just it's I'm just not wearing one if I'm just lounging or if I'm just at home. But I don't know; it just varies. It depends on the day. Sometimes I feel like, oh, I haven't really been wearing a bra that much. Let me just put on a bra, even if I am just at home. Yeah. So it's usually just during my main hours of operation, but come sundown and stuff, it's just time to. So you got like your six to eight hour bra. Why well, no now? <laughs> yes, the, my bras have a work schedule. Yeah, I received. I recently started looking at the bras and saying, "Okay, do I want to wear this one all day? No, I don't. So I'm going to go with this one, which it it provides support, but maybe not as much as the." other one that really does provide the most support so i have different support levels and then i'm like we're gonna go for this one today mm -hmm. and then as far as sports bras i even tell women in hours get your workout on and get out of it yeah at least for the one that we make but there are some sports bras that you can, can do you know use as lounge bras so those yeah. would be good too yeah i'm more to get it get get your workout in and get out of it yeah me too i am i don't care to stay in those either mm -mm. yeah so how soon does yours come off after getting home is it is it with the general consensus of immediately Generally. yeah 100 to zero yeah all the time i could be in typically in t-shirts it's easier for me to do it but even if i'm in, if i'm in a blouse i just change into a t-shirt but i like like if i'm dressed up for the day i don't want to be dressed up at home so i for change sure. anyway yeah. And, and once I'm changing that bra, come off, and it's just gonna be some loungewear. It makes me think about growing up and be like, "Oh, come on, get out of your school clothes, <laughs> get out your work clothes." Yeah, <laughs> so that might be embedded in us to do once we get home. I just don't feel comfortable anymore. Like, like I, I didn't mind um, when I was younger, even when I was early professional, like coming home just chilling in my work clothes for a little bit. Now I don't want no, mm -mm. get out of it. And just like a boob to go on a move, she said, depends on the sun. That plays a major mm -hmm. role because every I know every all our viewers aren't in Texas, but that Texas heat is something serious. So there are times I got to come home and just come out of everything just so I can get in the shower. Yeah. Because I'm already perspiring just from stepping outside. Yeah. So that humidity ain't yeah. no joke. It's not. So I should be like, woo, just hot. Just got to get the heat up off of me. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, we have some um, suggestions, recommendations, solutions for when you are experiencing some discomfort from eating stuff in your face this holiday season. Um, one of the first things would be to wear a bra without wires. That could help. Even though, you know, if you take it really far, you'll feel that bra too. <laughs> yeah. But it can help. So it's a little less restricting than a wired bra. It'll take you a lot longer to get to that. Yeah, feeling. so where you're messing up that one. Yep. Um, uh, wear an older bra. This is what I mentioned too. And I'm like, I'm looking at these bras to see which one I'm gonna wear. 
and this one provides some support but not as much as this one because i am wearing it you know like on those other hooks that are not tight and mm -hmm. i just know how it feels when i don't have to put it on the tightest hook so um i wear it on those loose hooks yeah give yourself some space to breathe yeah to grow <laughs> yes so another thing is if your bra is getting tight and maybe if you have on a fitted shirt, you'd be able to see that. So make sure that you wear looser clothes. I mean, you want to be comfortable to go stuff your face with all that good food anyway. And, you know, they have those memes and stuff talking about getting all dressed up to go sit in somebody's living room <laughs> or kitchen. <laughs> like, you don't have to do that anymore. Let's just go looking regular. Wear some sweats and some tights and stuff. Yes. <laughs> So wear something loose so you don't have to see that tightness of the bra if it does get tight. Or if you have to go and take your bra off all of a sudden, you could hide that under a sweatshirt, depending on the breast. <laughs> but you can hide it under a sweatshirt or a hoodie or a loose shirt. Or you could also, you know, get our Bluetooth invisibility cloak. So that can hide when your girls are, you know, just free. You want to be free, they want to be covered and free. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, and you can also wear a cami underneath um, your clothes so that when you do take off your bra, if you do take it off, you can still have that, um, a little bit of support there yeah. as well. Keep them in place. Not just flopping, you know, like, hey, I'm here. Yep. Shaking, jiggling, <laughs> wiggling. Um, and then, of course, you can eat in increments. Maybe, maybe you can fix the big plate, but eat it over time, not all in one sitting. So eat some bites, set it aside, go back, eat some more. Give, give yourself some time to digest. But we know that can be hard, especially when the food is really hidden. Yes. So if you if you can. That's not me. I'm not eating it. As you see, it's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> we started with, hey, just wear a bra with no wires and get through it. But if you must, just eat in increments so that it doesn't get there. So we hope that these tips were helpful and that you will utilize them um, to help you get the, through the holidays or any other time in your life when that bra is tight, you expand it, you know, refer to this episode and share it with others. Also, leave us your thoughts. Um, be sure to check out the link in our Bluetooth um, links and you can get some merch there. Also, support us on Patreon as well. You can find some of this stuff there as well. Tune in next week as we talk about what happens after you stuff your face and take off your bra. Till next time. Bye.